Welcome back to Premium Barbers. I'm Miguel. Today we are heading to an elementary. Uh, what's the name of the of the school, Eric? Frank Paul. Frank Paul Elementary. We're gonna be doing a little presentation. I've got the whole crew right here, Eric, Noe. Let's see how uh, how this day ends, man. We'll see you guys over there. <laughs> So be nice to us, guys. Be nice please, to please. us, all right? All right, so good morning. My name is Eric, 23 years old. And basically how I got started in this industry was when I was in middle school. Uh, my parents didn't have so much money to go get a haircut every week. So what I started doing, I started practicing on myself. And they were horrible, horrible, horrible haircuts. <laughs> but it was a start for me to learn how to cut my own hair because I wasn't able to get into a barber shop. So little by little, my friends started letting me cut their hair. And fast forward, I went through high school. I graduated. Uh, I ended up getting a football scholarship, playing college football. I went to North Dakota, another state far, far from here. Everything kind of picked up a little bit. I ended up getting my barber's license. I met Miguel, which he's gonna tell you a little bit about his story. I started, I ended up getting my barber's license. Eventually it was a long process. It took like two years because, you know, COVID kind of hurt all of us. And I'm officially a year and a half legally cutting hair <laughs> license. With the everything. license. But I, have, I started like just messing each other up. You know, that's kind of how, how everybody starts. And I think that's the first step is being interested in what, in, in have a passion for it. And step two, you're gonna start messing people up. So don't, don't be scared to do that, because it's gonna happen. Before we move on, uh, we would like one volunteer uh, that could help us uh, with our YouTube channel. Who wants to hold the camera? <laughs> no, it's his... Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> O only 49er fans, right? Yeah. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, look, we got one over there. I think we should choose the Niner fan over there, man. There you go. I got you, man. Come on in. Hey, arriba los Raiders también, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, you know, just... Whatever Change angle you, way. yeah. So my name is Miguel. Uh, I'm the president of Premium Barbers Incorporated. Uh, I started when I was like 15 years old. I'm 44 years old now. Oh my God, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I picked up some clippers, actually my dad went out to the yard sales. He came back with a pair of clippers and I got interested on uh, cutting my own hair. So I started buzzing my hair. As you can see, a, a, a lot of you guys have a buzz hair haircut. <laughs> Either your parents are doing it or you're doing it yourself. That's how I started. Started messing up my hair. Uh, I'm the oldest of seven. I have four brothers. So my mom told me, well, you know what? Since you're already cutting your hair, you might as well start cutting your brother's hair. So I started messing their hair up. And then the neighbors started seeing me cut their hair. So then the neighbors started asking me, hey, can you uh, cut my son's hair? Can you cut my uh, brother's hair? So I started messing up their hair too. <laughs> I guess I was terrorizing the whole neighborhood because a lot of people started asking me for haircuts. I really didn't see it as a career. Uh, I consider myself a, a floater, which I would just go around applying for jobs and if they call me, I'll go and work a couple years, move it up. I never really saw it as a career. But, you know, uh, as years went by, I started realizing that maybe I should take this more serious. Does anybody uh, 
here wants to be a barber when they grow up. Why, why are you interested in being a, a barber, man? What, what makes it, you know, that you want to uh, uh, pursue that career? school he's starting to like buy products like to cut like hair because like um his deal like he works like in electricity stuff and he has a lot of copper and he cuts it and, and he sells it and he gives the money to him so he could buy the products to barber like, oh nice yeah see so that's the first step you, ha you have to be interested like eric said earlier you have to be interested and then you're going to want to find out more about what can you do to better yourself as a barber? I, I feel like the cameraman should be moving in a different angle right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. He's going to be a good YouTuber over here. <laughs> no, do you want to talk a little bit about yourself? I'll hold the camera for you for a bit. Uh, I got it. So since you don't have anybody to, to hold it from? Oh, you're a you blogger know? now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, turn it around right there. There you go. Turn around So this Rookie this, is, <laughs> this is what I do all day. Just record these guys, record myself. And, you know, majority of people, it's you know, for YouTube. And this is all I do. But it's fun. What made you guys start a YouTube channel? Or uh, social media or how does that help you guys So we we use social media as advertising. If most of you guys have already been on either on TikTok, right? Who has a TikTok account? See? You guys are probably going to run into us one day, and you guys might even see this video that we're recording right now. We, we are big on, on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. If you guys know, that's a powerful tool that you guys carry in your pocket, that phone. You guys are able to book appointments online now. You, you guys could uh, watch a, a review on a clipper. You guys could see different hairstyles. Like nowadays, if you guys go to a barber shop, you guys are not going to see magazines like they did back in, the, uh, back in the old days. Now you guys pull up with your phone like, I want a haircut like this. Exactly. Right? How many have done that at the barber shop or at a salon? Hey, before we finish off right here, all right, who wants to see a teacher get shaved? Do you, do you guys want to see us shave one of your teacher's hair off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's voting on Mr. Jared Lopez? Mr. Lopez right here. <laughs> Even the ladies want to see him. Hey, what do you think, man? I think we're going to have to shave his hair today. <laughs> Did you bring a cape? I did. Oh, and we brought a cape. Perfect. And we brought a couple towels so you can clean it up. All right, so look. So we're going to pretend gonna explain we're going to you shave your that head. We're going to the shop right here. All right. So you might have to comb your hair after. All right, all right. we need your attention. Like cool? I got Jerry. Right now we're going to pick somebody right here to actually yeah. do the shave. <laughs> Who doesn't like his teacher and wants to shave his head? <laughs> hey! So at the barber shop, we always try to be as clean as possible. A lot of barber shops and salons nowadays, they're, they're not big on sanitation or staying clean. But you gotta treat it like if you were going to the doctor's office and everything's nice and clean, that's how we try to be at the barber shop. So what do you guys think? Should we just oh, shave it off? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you say we're gonna shave them off? Oh, 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 oh. relax. I don't know. I think we should have Mr. Lopez or one of, one of the teachers here cho choose a, a lucky contestant. What do you guys think? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So this is what we're going to do. All right. So I'm going to put the shaving cream on your hand and I want you to put it all over his head, right? Because we're going to shave his head off. <laughs> you ready? All right. You might want to Put your sleeve up a little bit. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, just 
Just spread it all through his head. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need a little bit more than that. I think he's going to look better with the bald head. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. I think you should add a little bit in the front right here a little bit more. There you go. <laughs> Just to make sure we got enough. There we go. A towel, always stay clean, remember, always stay clean. All right, so we're going to need a second volunteer. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. What was your name again? Ada. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Another volunteer. So this is called a razor. Oh. This is not a toy. It Definitely cuts. Not a toy. It's like a knife. But you don't bring that over here, right? Who is the, the, the one who's going to be responsible that's not going to cut the teacher's head? Whoa. Whoa, we got people automatically, hey, I'm down. Like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> you guys do not like your teacher? We're going to let him choose who he wants. I'll do the Raider fan right here. Oh. Dang, they took my quarterback, Mr. Jimmy G. Jimmy G. <laughs> okay, so first, I'm going to have to teach you how to hold a razor, okay? So you're going to open it up like this, but be careful, right? It's very sharp at this end, all right? So you open it up like this, and then you're going to put it in between like this. So when you start shaving, it's a dud, okay? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? Don't cut him. Don't cut him, okay? All right. So hold the razor. Yeah, open it up. You're going to have to put it right, right. Right here. They're this good. is just good. practice good. here, right? There's no right. razor inside of the blade holder. There's no <laughs> razor. <I> don't, don't <laughs> <get you>. <laughs> <laughs> we got There's the teacher. No we There's got no that razor. teacher. You want to try Okay, you might want to pull your sleeves. <laughs> this, yeah, you this don't want. This is just practice. All right. So I'm gonna need you to use the other hand right here and stretch the skin a little bit. And then you're gonna scrape off. Will it cut? I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you got a big old chunk right there. <laughs> and wipe it down right here. Wipe it down. Oh my goodness. I think we should just leave them half bald. <laughs> off the very very first um, career day that we did today thank you to mr lopez at um, frank paul elementary we appreciate it it was a good learning experience for us and it was nice to to show a little bit of what we do to the community so thank you we appreciate it and um, if you're watching this from frank paul come get your free haircuts so we just finished at frank paul uh, elementary we did our first ever presentation. It was great. The kids were nice to us. Hopefully they had fun like we did. Uh, we're set to have breakfast at this beautiful place here in uh, Salinas, California. Thanks again for the invitation at the school. And yeah, like Eric said, come and get your free haircuts.